Hey everyone, uh, it's Michelle from Farm Life Outfitters and uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys today about how we boost our immune system um, year round. This is not, we're ha we haven't really changed our regiment for the current virus um, outbreak so our protocol is basically the same as it is um, for our no normal cold and flu season. So. Uh, I'm not a medical professional. I am just a mom who uh, does not like going to the doctor and does not like taking my kids to the doctor. Um, does not like having sick kids. <laughs> so uh, we do everything in our power to um, boost our immune systems so that um, our bodies are able to fight off um, whatever comes around this time of year. So. Um, one thing we like to do is to get a good amount of vitamin D. Now vitamin D is a little more scarce in the winter months and um, it's just harder to get outside and get some good natural vitamin D but we get as much as possible and definitely during the winter months we will supplement with a vitamin um, form of vitamin D. So, <clears throat> um, so we use the standard process brand but there are lots of other brands that you could you could use um, vitamin c is something that we take uh, when we're especially on guard about um, about viruses and things um, probiotics uh, my kids love the pb assist from doTERRA which looks like this they get it really excited they start jumping up and down when this comes in the mail um, every month and um, Adam and I also take the um, adult version of doTERRA's probiotic which is PB assist probably some of you already are on a multivitamin uh, if you are not and you need a suggestion I would highly recommend um, the lifelong vitality pack from doTERRA I've been on this for almost a year now and um, it has made a world of difference in me. Uh, I just now have Adam on it uh, since we are in the middle of this pandemic and um, I just want him to be as healthy as he possibly can, his body to be able to fight things off. And um, yeah, so we are real big fans of, of the LLV. Elderberry. Uh, elderberry syrup is something that we have been taking for many years. I generally only usually take it in the um, winter months and give it to the kids during the winter months. However, um, due to some research that I have read recently, uh, I am not taking this every day. I'm not giving it to the kids every day. Um, I'm only doing it when we've been exposed to something. If we know we've been exposed to something or if we've just been around a lot of people um, during this time of year where we know a lot of things are floating around, then we'll start doing uh, elderberry once a day for a while. Eat an anti-inflammatory diet. So if you don't know what I mean, um, you can Google that. Uh, really, really reduce your sugar intake or eliminate it altogether. Uh, dairy is a huge thing. It's a huge thing for our family. So we definitely um, try to be mindful of what, um, how much dairy and what kind of dairy we're putting in our bodies. And so uh, really limiting that. Processed foods for sure need to be limited and um, or eliminated and uh, there's many many other things that you can try but um, those are the biggest things especially for our family that I know um, need to be cut down or completely eliminated when um, when it's this time of year or when we know that there's sickness around good quality food so make sure that the food you are buying is of good quality it's local if possible um, the really interesting thing uh, I find right now is that a lot of people aren't just going out to buy, well I guess a lot of people are just going out to buy whatever they can find on the shelves. They're like kind of hoarding food right now because everyone's kind of self-quarantining, not to the extreme, but they're, they're isolating themselves a little bit more. Um, so they're not going to the grocery store as much, but something that uh, is interesting to me is that we have had more customers in the last um, week or so and we're hearing that some of our farm farmer friends 
are um, are getting more customers as of late also so that's encouraging too because people are um, to, in my mind, people are thinking more about the source of their food, where they're getting their food, um, how it's raised, how it's grown, and so that's really, really encouraging. Along with good quality food, um, I would suggest bone broth. Um, if you can't make your own, then uh, buy good bone broth online. I'll, I'll link all this stuff down below that I can think of to link for you guys to give you some good resources to check out. Uh, fermented foods like um, kimchi or um, sauerkraut, kombucha, we make our own kombucha. Um, all of those things will help your gut bacteria. Chiropractor, I am a firm believer in the chiropractor. If you don't have a good one, please find one. Uh, if you're in my area, I can give you a good suggestion um, or a few good suggestions because I know a lot of people um, love other chiropractors other than my own. But uh, we've been going to a chiropractor for about 10 years now. And uh, really, anytime we are sick, anytime we are sniffly, anytime our ears hurt, anything like that, um, plus maintenance visits, we go to our chiropractor. On Guard is doTERRA's protective blend and we have been diffusing this every night and um, we will actually I've got a roller of this that will rub on the bottoms of our feet also you can diffuse it you can roll it we've got um, little beadlets that you can actually ingest um, so lots and lots of options try to get rid of the toxins in your home so uh, the best way to do this is just to if you don't like wasting, just go in and use up the rest of your chemicals that you have to clean with or your laundry detergent or um, whatever it is that you've got in your house. If you don't want to waste it, go ahead and use it up. But um, uh, I would suggest getting it out of your house as quickly as possible. It is not good for your health. Um, it's not good for your kids. So uh, finding natural cleaners is going to be key to getting toxins out of your house. Um, so uh, like doTERRA makes an on guard cleaner concentrate that we use to clean things, clean surfaces with and um, actually make our own hand soap with um, on guard. And um, you can get, you can find all kinds of natural cleaners, um, shampoos and conditioners, any, any kind of toiletries. Um, that just typically have a lot of chemicals in them uh, need to be eliminated from your home, in my opinion. Keep things clean and washed with natural products. So um, I'm not one to talk right now because if you saw my house, you'd be like, really? Clean and washed? Okay. Um, <laughs> but if we leave, um, if we leave uh, clothes sitting for a while that are damp or whatever, towels or um, rags that we wipe counters down with and stuff like that, then all of that is going to grow mold um, and it's just not going to be good for you or your family to be um, inhaling that be around that so try to keep things as clean as possible have things wiped down i'm not talking about like sterilize everything that's not like what i'm talking about that's just just a matter of um if you know something is prone to go moldy like um anything that you clean with like the little um pads that you scrub with or rags or towels or anything like that then definitely think about that and make sure that they stay clean they stay dry that kind of thing uh, wash hands with natural soap like I said we, we make our own hand soap with um, on guard cleaner or on guard um, essential oil uh, make your own hand soap or find someone who makes hand soap or buy natural hand soap from a company drink a lot of water and um, I actually put lemon in my water because lemon will actually do a lot of um, detoxifying also for your body so lots of water exercise move your body every day so um, I don't have any guides for you to say you have to do a certain amount of minutes every single day or a certain kind of activity or anything like that I'm sure those are out there you can find those but 
but I'm saying just get your body moving every day um, I have to make myself do this right now I'm like 35 weeks pregnant I don't want to move I just don't want to move it's hard to like breathe while I'm talking to you right now but um but I make myself go for a walk um, I move my body every day and that is gonna be awesome for you um, to practice as well if you're not used to moving a lot uh, sleep make sure you're getting plenty of sleep at night um, at, you know eight hours at least seven hours of sleep at night I think um, for your children of course they're gonna need more but just making sure everybody is getting you're just giving your body a fighting chance um, when you give your body the amount of rest that it needs Epsom salt baths I have been doing this for a long time but these are like detoxing baths and they are wonderful um, anytime anytime the kids are sick or um, anytime I'm achy or hurting or anything like that from a pregnancy I'm gonna get in the bath with Epsom salts and um, they do wonders for um, detoxing also last but not least do not stress sometimes that stresses people out to hear those words do not stress but do not stress um, I had to tell myself this this morning but it really is um, detrimental to your body when you um, put stress on it um, and sometimes I know that's not that's not your fault um, sometimes that is imposed on you but you can choose how you react to things um, and being able to react in a way um, that is calm and peaceful is going to do your body so much better than the opposite so I know this is kind of like a no-brainer it seems like but Please try not to stress whatever you need to do to try to relax um, take a walk take a bath um, read a book take a nap drink some tea whatever you need to do to de-stress your body is going to help your body in the long run to be able to fight off um, anything anything that it comes in contact with um, that it needs to fight for so all of these things are not new I'm sure you've heard these I'm sure that there are many many other lists circulating over the internet right now uh, I know I've got several articles and things that I've shared uh, on my Facebook natural health Facebook group and if you're not in there I would love to have you join us uh, I've got a link in the description for um, for the farm life outfitters natural health community and if you'll go and click that and I will add you to our group it is a private group so you have to be admitted in to join um, and we love to have discussions in there about natural health things and um, so none of the, the things that I've mentioned today are like earth-shattering things I know I have mentioned them before in several different ways Instagram or Facebook or whatever but um, I thought I would give you guys just a little rundown of how we do um, just kind of immunity building in our home um, especially this time of year and now this is on everyone's minds so I would like to give you a little bit of um, of some holistic options for that but there are many many other things out there like I said and um, many other resources so all of the things I mentioned if I can find a link for them I will link them in the description and um, I hope you guys stay healthy and well and um, that everyone is enjoying their families right now more that they're you know able to spend more time with them and um, that's all I have for you today. I guess I will talk to you next time. Bye.